Hey guys, it's me, Seren, back with another car video. So I haven't been able to do a car video in a really long time because nowadays it gets dark at like two o'clock in the fucking afternoon, um, which is lame. <laughs> so I either have to film like really early in the morning, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, but if I like don't go anywhere early in the morning or you know, if I like wait, it's just like if I wait too long, I cannot, like I can't film in the car because it's just too dark. Um, and I remember I did like a couple car videos last year, last winter, like even the very first one that I did was like at night, but like you couldn't see shit. Like you couldn't, it was just like the black hole of my car and like this disembodied voice like screaming <laughs> and ranting, which is cool too, right? Which like has its own value, but like whatever. Um, so I wanted to make this video, um, it's the Friday after No Fucks Giving, <laughs> which I don't know how this title is going to play out, um, because we have our sentient robot ov overlords, aka the YouTube algorithm, that's decided that, uh, you know, they don't want anything fucking wholesome on their channel. Which, completely unrelated side note, the reason why I never, a lot of people like wanted me to talk about that, like the whole adpocalypse thing and shit like that, the reason why I never made a video about it and I never really talk about it is because, just like I say all the time, like YouTube is a private platform that we utilize, so when we sign up for YouTube, we do sign like terms and conditions, like... So we just kind of have to figure out a way to like get around their rules, which is like basically like what you have to do. You can't like force the private corporation to like bend to your will in a lot of ways, which as you guys know, it's kind of like falling in line with a lot of the shit I've been thinking about recently about how the system is fucked up. So <laughs> we kind of have to like change ourselves because the system it's kind of fucked up like this like the system's not going to bend to your will so you the one that has to fucking change um so yeah um the title of this video hashtag no fucks giving it came from the hood witch i don't know if any of you guys follow her um her, i think her real name is jessica super cool chick posts a lot of really interesting things about like tarot and astrology and stuff like that if you guys are into that um and she's on instagram and um very, I think she's on Twitter, various like you, uh, internet, social media platforms and stuff. And she had put a post up yesterday that said like hashtag no fucks giving. And basically under it, she was like, you know, sending all like the blessings and the love and the positive energy to like the indigenous people of North America specifically because like Thanksgiving is like a, a quote unquote American holiday, but you know, like all indigenous people you know that have suffered and dealt with the effects of colonization like it's no fucks giving like hashtag no fucks giving which I really liked a lot because like last year I did a video on um gratefulness and the year before that I did a video on alternative holidays um and if you haven't seen those videos they'll either be popping up of course there will be links in the description box but like I can't even like this year I couldn't even bring myself to like this is gonna sound horrible but I couldn't even bring myself to like think about gratefulness or like thanksgiving as a concept because it's like fucked up it's like super fucked up I basically treated yesterday like a regular fucking day like a sat like a regular like Saturday like I went to the movies and I ordered Chinese food and then I like stayed home and like finished the fucking uh, black owned gift guide, which is up. Of course, there will be links to the black owned gift guide in the description box as well. There will be links to the 2017, the 2016, and the 2015 gift guide. This is our third year, our third year in a row doing the black owned gift guide. So if you are shopping today, um, please try and support a black owned business and check out the black owned gift guide. The majority um, of the websites that are listed in the black owned gift guide are having like a lot of really, really, really good deals, like 40% off and buy one, get one 50 percent off and all types of stuff like that so please make sure you check out the black owned gift guide if you have not already it is up and it is live but like i was not wishing anybody a happy thanksgiving like 
I like I try to think about shit to be fucking thankful for and grateful for like every day now like that's my new thing and like this is not to make anybody feel bad like I don't want anybody to feel like I'm trying to like shit on them or like make them feel bad I've seen a lot of people saying like you know like we understand that like Thanksgiving is like a white supremacist like calling this holiday we just want to like take advantage of this time to like be with our friends and family and like spend time and like have fun I totally get that like I totally get that and there's nothing wrong with that I'm just talking about like for me personally I've like really just gotten to the point where I'm just like so like disinvested that I just can't even like like don't like don't wish me happy Thanksgiving I'm not gonna wish you a happy Thanksgiving back I'm not gonna say in any of my videos or any of my social media like oh to people that celebrate have like happy Thanksgiving like no like fuck that like fuck that like fuck that fucking colonizer fucking holiday it's fucking barbaric and even like the act for me again I just really want to keep emphasizing that this is like for me personally even the act of like we're gonna like gather our friends and family and we're gonna like sit around this table and we're gonna like eat these particular foods like turkey that there's like a particular reason why we like sit there and like eat turkey specifically and like say what we're thankful for and what we're grateful for that's like ritual right and not to get all like mystical and like spacey on you but like that is ritual and that is taking part of and for me can't speak for anybody else and like a white supremacist colonist kind of ritual kind of rhetoric and I don't know like ritual holds power and even if we like know on a certain level like that this is some bullshit the fact that we like still choose to like do it and like still engage in it and like still engage in that ritual and again like we eat those particular foods and we do those particular things every single year we sit around a table and we eat turkey and we say what we're thankful for basically in the name of a genocide like that's really like we're we're kind of worshiping and ritualizing not kind of it's basically what we're doing we're worshiping and ritualizing a genocide you know against the indigenous peoples of north america and there's just really for me like i've reached the point where there's just really no way around that like there's really no way of sugarcoating that there's really no way of getting around it that feels appropriate for me i just i'm not comfortable with it i'm not comfortable with it like i'm not comfortable with it in any way shape or form and i choose to be thankful and grateful for my friends and family i'm trying to choose to be thankful and grateful for my friends and family and my circumstances and and, and the things that I have, um, my life and my health and stuff like that. Not necessarily like capitalist material things, but you know, at all times, you know, da daily, I'm trying to make that part of my daily practice. Um, and like in October, I went to go visit like some of my best friends and um, if you guys follow me on social media, you probably saw that like my, one of my best friends, she like cooked for me and she cooked this food that I like love. Right. And it's like, she cooked like mac and cheese and she like fried fish and there was like asparagus and there was like all these types of foods that I love. Now those may be foods that you also eat on like Thanksgiving. Like you can, we can get together with our friends and family and be grateful and thankful and eat good food and have a good time, not in the name of like ritualizing and like worshiping this like white supremacist colonist <laughs> idolization of like literally a genocide against the people that we have like now romanticized. And it's just like, and then you like go places and everybody's like, happy Thanksgiving and like happy holidays and like, uh, what are you doing for fucking Thanksgiving? And like, and, and you like go to the fucking library and they fucking have kids in the library, like all the books that are in the front are like, and the, and the pilgrims and like when the pilgrims came and like the Mayflower and like, and it's just like all oh, this like propaganda, <laughs> it's like propaganda, <laughs> And it's just like everywhere. <laughs> just like my fucking video PSA is everywhere. Like we're like constantly being like bombarded with this like shit. And again, even if on like a surface level, we know like this is some bullshit. I cannot choose again. Like it's just not something I feel comfortable with. Like I can't 
in good faith and good conscience i'm like morally and ethically opposed even to just like oh we're gonna just like get together just for just to like in the name of like getting together because like we're still there's still a reason you know and especially if we're gonna like still do these particular things like sit down and eat these particular foods and say what the fuck we're thankful for like what the, like what the fuck does a motherfucking what the fuck any, anyways i was about to say like what the fuck does like a fucking native american like like that is like such a slap in the face <laughs> like i really am not comfortable with it and in my um on alternative holidays video which i did like back in 2014 or 15 might have been 2014 if it wasn't it was definitely 2015 i talk about like there's so many other holidays that like we could also celebrate and that could also be like federally recognized holidays that are not like juneteenth which is like pretty much the unofficial official end of slavery when like the final like last of the of the slaves that were like still living in bondage were like freed on june 19th like how is june 19th not a federal fucking holiday we basically have two we have columbus day which luckily is like very slowly being shifted to indigenous people's day um they're like voting in a lot of places to like officially make it indigenous people's day but we have columbus day and we have thanksgiving which are like basically two celebrations of the exact same shit like colonizer white supremacist fucking genocides we have fucking veterans day which is like let's celebrate fucking the army we're gonna celebrate the army we're gonna like deify the military and like elevate it up to this like status where we like literally celebrate the army we like celebrate the military like fighting for our freedom and like all this shit like that like but we don't celebrate juneteenth that's not a federal holiday like the signing of the emancipation proclamation like that's not a federal fucking holiday like the ending of the civil war like that's not these are not fucking federal holidays right so yeah like this is probably again like falling in line with like just where my mind space is at and like the I hate everything <laughs> and stuff like that so well, I'm gonna say one more time like please don't anybody feel like I'm like ah you're a bad person mm. are you kidding are you kidding are you fucking kidding people can't drive y'all they can't drive they can't drive no signal side swipe you come on it's too early for this sorry y'all um, but see, now I have a car mount, so I'm driving safe. Anyways, um, and yeah, like, I don't want anybody to feel like I'm yelling at you or telling you what to do or anything like that. Like, I'm just, again, like, I can only speak for myself and how I feel. And I just, like, can't, like, I can't, like, and don't wish me a happy Thanksgiving. Like, I'm not going to say it back. And I don't want you to, like, fucking get your feelings hurt and be offended when I, like, refuse to say it back. And, like, like... When, or, or like when I refuse to like go to your house and like sit around your table and like cause I'm just not like no like no I like completely like no like when I if I grow up ever and fucking have kids like that's not gonna be a thing in my house like it's not gonna be a thing in my house like I don't care and if you come over my house you're not allowed you're not gonna be allowed to like say happy thanksgiving to my kids it's not gonna be no no pilgrim mayflower none of this for again propaganda none of this rhetoric like no like that's just not gonna be fucking allowed like it's not cool and i'm not cool with it and i cannot like and i cannot again like i just can't good conscience like continue to like sugarcoat it and like try and like make it into something nice and like try to make it into something i could partake in like kind of one foot in the door and like one foot out the door so like uh, all I did like I said all I did was like I went to the movies and I ordered Chinese food and, and I specifically said I was like I'm gonna like I'm gonna eat like Chinese food or like pizza I don't eat pizza but you know like something something that's like far on the other end of the spectrum as like far left from what I'm like supposed to quote unquote supposed to do expected to do on this day than I like possibly can I want to like treat this Wednesday night I went out fucking um party and i went out clubbing with my friend we had like a great time and then like thursday i like slept until fucking noon and then i like got up went to the movies came back home and i like ordered some chinese food i like finished the gift guide and then i like went to bed like i wanted to treat it like it wasn't even 
a day like it wasn't even anything because that's just how I feel so I wanted to make this video because um, it's kind of different than the video that I made last year and the video that I made before just because like I feel different I feel different um, so yeah um, with that being said like I said that's just me personally that's not for anybody to feel bad or tell you guys what to do um, the black owned gift guide is up so if you are going to be worshiping the gods of capitalism today at least try and support a black owned business if you can um, there was some really good stuff in there this year. I tried to like go like a little bit different. Um, and again, of course, there will also be links to the 2016 and 2015, so you can feel free to give those a look as well. Um, but with that, as always, see you guys next time. Car video. I know we haven't had one of these in a while, so peace. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Bye.